Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at two strong buy tech giants. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at two behemoths in the tech industry. Now, these stocks have been picking up a ton of Wall Street analyst ratings ahead of their upcoming earnings. The names of these companies probably won't surprise you, but maybe the amount of ratings will. Both of them have around 40 current ratings. So we're gonna take a look at these companies, what the buzz around them is lately, and of course, what kind of growth those analysts are predicting for the stock's future. Don't forget to head over to tipranks.com or download the tip Frank's mobile app if you want to access the wisdom of over 8,500 Wall Street analysts. Links will be in the description down below. Now let's jump right into these two strong buy tech titans. First up is chip maker NVIDIA. They trade under the ticker NVDA, currently priced at $463 per share. They have been booming this past year as AI has really taken off and have grown 300%, including growth of 5.5% in the last three months. They do score a 10 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score, and they even pay a small dividend with a yield of 0.03%. As I said, the rise of artificial intelligence this past year has really been a catalyst for this semiconductor chip company. And they have found a solid base of support in strong customer demand for their high-end GPU chips. These have become essential to the rapid growth of AI technology. Since 2020, they've been an important supplier of GPU chips for OpenAI, whose ChatGPT sparked the current AI revolution. OpenAI has already indicated that it'll need some 10,000 chips heading into next year just to maintain their performance capabilities. NVIDIA's exposure to this and other facets of AI has fueled a surge in their top and bottom lines over the past several quarters. Their Q3 earnings report will be coming out in just over a month on November 21st. When we take a look back at their previous quarters, we can see some notable year-over-year -year growth. For their third quarter, analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of $3.32, a big increase over last year's $0.58 cents per share. Looking back at their Q2, the company reported revenue of $13.5 billion. That grew 101% year-over-year and came in well ahead of analyst expectations. On the earnings per share side, we had another big beat at $2.70, and that was a year-over-year -year growth of 429%. Taking a look at TipRank's crowd wisdom, the NVIDIA stock is already very popular among investors. Among all smart portfolio investors, over 14% hold the NVIDIA stock in their portfolio, and this has been increasing over the last month. Looking at just top performing investors, that jumps up to 26%. And as I said at the start of the video, this stock is also popular among Wall Street analysts. One five-star analyst from TD Cohen just increased their price target yesterday by a sizable amount and said that Nvidia remains one of their top picks. Matthew Ramsey increased their price target from $600 up to $700. They said that they believe the industry is in the early innings of two transformational paradigm shifts towards ubiquitous acceleration and generative AI with Nvidia's wide moat potentially expanding. Another analyst from Goldman Sachs said that the near and midterm outlook for Nvidia is looking good. They added NVIDIA to their conviction list and said that they expect them to maintain their status as the accelerated computing industry standard for the foreseeable future given their competitive moat and the urgency which with customers are developing and deploying increasingly complex artificial intelligence models. Their stock currently has an impressive 39 analyst ratings and it's almost unanimous with just one hold out of all of those. Their average price target for the stock comes in at $647. That would be a growth potential of over 39% from current prices. Down below, we can see that increased price target from TD Cohen yesterday with an upside of nearly 51%, and a lot of five-star analysts recently weighing in on the stock. In the most recent ratings this past month, our price targets range from an upside of 20% all the way up to 137% here with an $1,100 price target from Rosenblatt Securities. And our second tech giant that has no shortage of analyst attention lately is none other than Amazon. Their stock trades under the ticker AMZN, currently priced at $130 per share. They've seen growth of 15% overall this past year and have actually been trading fairly flat over the last few months. They currently score an 8 out of 10 on the TipRank Smart Score. Amazon, of course, is a very recognizable name as they lead the global e-commerce market. 
Their company, of course, stands on their impressive online retail operations, which last year moved approximately $690 billion in gross merchandise volume. But they do have their hands in multiple pots. They're constantly developing new products to take advantage of newly opened niches. Their Amazon Web Services quickly became a major player in cloud computing. And they also have multiple AI-based products under development, with prominent projects including a chatbot, an image building platform, and a software code development tool. We'll be hearing from Amazon a little bit sooner as their third quarter earnings report is scheduled to come out on October 26th. For their Q3, analysts will be looking for earnings per share of 57 cents, and that's nearly double last year's 28 cents per share. In their last quarter, they reported revenues of 134.4 billion, and that did grow 11% year over year. Earnings per share came in with an easy earnings beat at 65 cents, beating estimates by 35 cents, and seeing some pretty crazy year-over-year -year growth. And this is another stock quite popular among investors. With nearly 19% of all portfolios holding the Amazon stock and top investors, that goes up to 34% with some slight increases over the last month. Recently, reiterating their buy rating on the Amazon stock was an analyst from Bank of America Securities. Justin Post highlighted that Amazon has opportunities to reduce their shipping expenses. This, along with other factors such as a healthy macro environment and the optimistic hiring of 250,000 seasonal workers, all contribute to their buy rating on the stock. Five-star analyst Mark Mahaney from Evercore also recently reiterated his buy rating on the stock saying that they strongly reiterate their outperform rating and saying that they believe the recent 15% correction in Amazon shares, driven by a number of macro, market, and company-specific factors, create a compelling entry-slash-adding opportunity for Amazon investors. Amazon has an incredible 42 current analyst ratings, which is getting up there for some of the most ratings I've ever seen on a stock. And once again, we almost have unanimous buys with just one hold. Their average price target for the Amazon stock comes in at $176, which would be an upside potential of 35%. Down below, we can see all the recent ratings, some as recent as yesterday with an upside of 45%, a lot in the last couple of weeks. And we don't have a huge range in price targets here, a lot in that 20 to 30% side, with a low end upside of 15% and a high end getting us up to 46% here. And then they go on older and older here for the last couple of months, including our hold. So there we have two tech giants, both picking up a ton of attention from Wall Street analysts. I know neither of these companies were surprising names to hear today, but it is neat to see how optimistic the street is feeling about their future growth potential. Let me know if you agree in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just showing you what those Wall Street analysts are up to. So please make sure you do your own research and due diligence and always stick with your own investing plan. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.